Hi everybody, thank you for watching today's video. My name is David, this channel is Demars Coaching and I make a lot of different videos about a lot of different things, mostly psychology, maybe personality disorders, how to heal from toxic relationships. Today's video is answering a question that I've asked a lot. Um, and uh, it's, can a borderline change? Meaning, can they heal from their disorder? I've been asked a lot about narcissists too. People with narcissistic personality disorder and I've made videos about that. Feel free to go watch those. This disorder is different. Um, so disclaimer, first of all, anytime I make a video about someone with BPD, I have to give a disclaimer saying I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about the disorder. So I'm not talking about anybody specific, right? You can tell me if you have the disorder that you don't do something and I'll just tell you, well, another borderline does, right? Not you. How would I know you not talking about you? So I'm not talking about all borderlines. This is mostly material that I've learned over the years. Not so much opinion, but I will give it. So that being said, let's get started. First thing I got to say, we don't change who we are. Okay. Children don't know who they are. Their brains are still developing, still growing. Their brains are very malleable, right? Very impressionable. Convince them of anything. And our brains keep growing till we're 26 about. Stop growing at 26. We develop our personality entering into adulthood. And it becomes set. And we don't change who we are. Period. I, if I live another 30 years and I don't see people I know until then, and we run into each other, I'd imagine I'd look quite different. I'd be wrinkly and old, maybe skinny, maybe fat. Maybe not much hair, silver, white, may not even be very recognizable, but my personality will be. Start talking, they say, oh, there you are, David. Now I recognize you. Because we don't change who we are. Okay? I want to be very clear on that. We can change certain things about ourselves that we want to change. A lot of us have that ability. If I'm not punctual, tardy, late, to things and I don't want to be and I want to change that I have the ability to do that I'm not saying I will but hopefully I will um, look at lying people with compulsive lying they have the ability to change they can um, compulsive behaviors can be quite difficult to stop but it's possible okay with the right help yeah if needed so we can change these things about ourselves, but not necessarily who we are. Disorder is a disorder of the self, personality disorder. It's a developmental disorder. They, children must develop into fully functioning, mature, emotional adults. Personality disorder is suggesting that that didn't happen. Number two. To fix, to stop behaviors, to stop repeating mistakes requires looking at yourself, some type of personal inventory, introspection, and the courage to change. Most people won't change something, even if they want to, because they may lack the courage to. It can be extremely difficult to change things about yourself. A personality disorder, massive courage and commitment. It's common for people with personality disorders to not believe they have a problem or the problem is yours, your fault. Extremely common. You guys know that, that watch this, especially when you deal with a narcissist, right? No accountability, no responsibility. It's not my fault. It's yours. You made me do it. Blah, 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 blah. They're telling you I'm fine with who I am. Okay, the codependent wants to help. They want to help change a person into someone that that person doesn't want to change into. Does that sound fair? Easier to accept someone for who they show you they are, isn't it? So if the most important criteria is to look at ourselves, take personal inventory, realize that the problem is ours, and to have that courage to change, 
people with borderline personality disorder, I mean, it's already difficult. People with this disorder, it's extremely more difficult. Four, to heal from borderline personality disorder, if possible, and I'll get there, requires massive work, therapy, commitment, and courage to change. I'm not saying, oh, I'll get there. Typically, people with this disorder need what's called dialectical behavioral therapy. That is extensive work, extensive work. Do not be fooled by the toxic person in therapy. These personality disorders, these terms were coined because of people needed therapy. They went into the doctor's office and needed help. And so they developed these, these terms, titles, names, disorders for these patients to better understand their problems and how to treat them. Don't be fooled by the person who says, I'm in therapy, I'm in help, I'm, I'm, I'm getting help. You can talk to many, many professionals and they'll tell you the success rate. It's not entirely up to the therapist, right? A therapist can know exactly what a person needs to change and help them give them all the courage and attention and commitment, but it's up to the person, isn't it? And it's very common for people in institutions and in hospitals and stuff like this to be treated for, it's more common with histrionic personality disorder, but borderline is very common, very common. And they will use the therapist and therapy as a crutch as uh, a way of not taking accountability, responsibility. They'll use it to manipulate people. I told my therapist, you're this, that you're doing this, and they said that you're this, and that I have to do this to you. When none of it's really accurate or true, who knows what they're telling the therapist, or they have a bad therapist. Don't be fooled by that, okay? Just because I'm in DBT therapy does not mean that I have successfully gone through it and I no longer have a disorder. Just because I'm talking to a therapist doesn't mean I'm all better. So, can they change? Can they heal? Doctors, most, say yes. They can. It's, it's a treatable disorder, personality disorder, one of few. I have seen it. I've, I've seen people who said that they've healed, that they were diagnosed at one point in their life. I, I meet them later. They don't exhibit the traits. They aren't emotionally unstable. They don't have a fear of abandonment. They don't self-sabotage, these kinds of things. But there's also something to take into consideration and that's misdiagnosis, yeah? So someone could have been diagnosed at 23 and now at 43 they display, they display no traits of this disorder. Are they cured? Well, not if they never had it. That's common too. One of the most common misdiagnoses is in psychology is people with borderline personality disorder being diagnosed with bipolar. CPTSD was diagnosed as borderline at one point before knowledge of that particular disorder. There's a lot of factors to take into consideration, isn't there? Lots. Um, it's the one disorder I've heard doctors say that someone can actually grow out of, mature. Many problems young people have, they can, I don't know the right word, stop on their own. It's common for young females to have some type of eating disorder that they've learned to manage and control and stop on their own without extensive therapy. That's possible. I've heard the same with borderline personality disorder, that hormones go down, they learn how to manage their emotions more and better, and they don't have it anymore. Just something told, not my opinion. What we need to do, since we're not doctors and we're not treating people like this, we don't need to know these things. What we need to understand that the labels aren't important to us. What's important is the behaviors, aren't they? I cannot accept people lying to me. That's just me. I cannot accept people deceiving me, not having integrity, angry, emotional, violent outbursts. Can't live with that. Can't accept it. But I will accept who somebody shows me they are by their behaviors. But I will not accept specific behaviors in my life. 
And that's what we need to understand, guys. I understand coming out of a relationship with someone so toxic, sometimes we just have to know what they're, what it is it, what do they have, what's wrong? What's wrong is hitting you, lying to you, cheating on you, being abusive and neglectful. That's what's, that's what matters. How you feel is what really matters, is how this makes you feel. And we can't control people. And I know we want to help people, but I'll tell you, there are people that are homeless that want to be homeless. You can offer them a home, you can offer them a job, you can offer them these things, and you are believing it's genuine, you want to help them, but you're trying to change them. If you ask them to find out what they want, that's not it. I hope this video helps, guys. Let me know what you think. Ask questions, always. Please tell me your experiences for everybody reading it. You guys like the videos, go down and read the comments. They're, they're even better. You get to hear firsthand experiences from people. And don't forget, most of all, love yourself first, guys. Thanks. Bye.